Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we are going to talk about Bell's palsy or facial nerve paralysis. And this is one of the very common neurological disorders. I will say it's more of a benign problem uh, because most frequently it's because of uh, facial nerve compressions, uh, uh, which happens when it is coming out from the brain and it's because of post-infectious, some viral infections or it can be trauma or during pregnancy or you have some cold exposure. So this episode will be concentrating more of um, what are the exercises we should do. Uh, you see, uh, if someone is having uh, facial nerve paralysis or Bell's palsy, you should reach out to your uh, neurologist uh, within a week's time because um, if proper treatment and facial exercise is done, you can have a complete uh, recovery. That's very much possible. And uh, some of the important exercises I just want to share with you uh, like the persons might be having difficulty in closing eyes and uh, whenever you are trying to uh, chew something it gets stuck on the side of weakness and even you are not able to drink water or fluids because it, it comes out from the angle of mouth and and the most important thing your fish uh, your, your face does not look good you know it's it's uh, there's deviations whenever you are smiling so we we as a person are very much concerned about the how we look the first exercise is, uh, you know, take uh, some balloons, uh, like the balloons which you use for birthday. Uh, so take big balloons and try to inflate the balloon as, as shown in the picture, try to inflate the balloon. But when you try to do that, there will be some leakage of air coming from this side. So try to, you know, occlude from this side and then do that one. Balloon inflations and deflations, inflation and deflations. So there may be five repetitions. Uh, is is good then you can do other way is like put your fingers over here then inflate your face inflate like this way the second exercise is like um, there is you know this is the fold which is there normal fold between your in your lips and the, your face part in as so this fold become distorted okay so what you need to do in exercise is like uh, whenever you are angry it's, it's something like this so you need to do something like this so if there is a weakness this is not going to happen so what you will do supposedly this side is weakness you do like this one and then you try to hold your angle of mouth and try to do it like this okay so that you are supporting but it's sh you should not start doing it first this one and this one you need to do first this and then you support it that's more important this is number two Number three, number three is closing your eyes because supposedly you are trying to close your eyes. Eyes will be say for this part, this side, I will not be able to close. So with your hands also, with your clean hand, try to close your eyes. That's number one. Number two exercise is you take your eyes up against the resistance. So take your eyelids up and try to close it. So this is against resistance, you'll be doing that one. You hold this one for five to 10 seconds and then release. Again, do it, so five repetitions is important. So this is one exercise. And number four is like for the eyebrows, uh, you know, your forehead muscles, because this will be, you will not be able to do look up this way, not by moving head. You fix your head and then you look up. So you will not be able to, you know, uh, uh, there will not be any burrows or you will not be able to look that way. So in that way, what you do is like take the supports of your hand and do this one exercise. Another is you do this exercise. Okay. Five repetitions is important. One of the important thing I just want to share with you is like, you know, uh, while you do exercise for facial nerve palsy or Bell's palsy, you uh, stand in front of a mirror because that will give you a more clear picture what you are doing actually, right? and uh, that will help you doing better way of exercise and the improvement also you'll be able to find out. The next exercise is uh, for uh, the face muscles. So what we do, you can take any of the chewing gums which is available in the market, but um, usually the chewing gums are having some sweetness, okay? And as the medications also contains the steroids for a few days, so we strongly advise not to take uh, any sugars or artificial any sugars. So try to avoid sugars, but at the same time, we advise you to, to, to chewing 
uh, to do chewing with uh, using some chewing gum so in that scenario you ch start chewing and throw the initial part which is coming out which is sweet uh, sweetener is there so we take out that one and uh, after that you start chewing which is uh, which is the you know residual part this will help you in your muscle exercise of the face um, the side which is having you know weakness then the next one is like drinking water or fluids so, so you should take lots of fluids uh, uh, you should drink lots of fluid but while drinking you should not take like a glass and start drinking rather you take a straw or uh, the straw you we take in um, for taking juice similarly you take a straw as as seen in this picture take a straw to take fluids okay this this will help you uh, your exercise of your face okay and your fluid will not come out from your angle of mouth that will help you the next exercise is uh, massage of your facial muscle say for example on my right side is having weakness so i'll start from the angle of this angle of mouth uh, you know mandible and doing massage from here and then try to raise it raise it okay so this is this is how we'll start and do this one one of the things as i said you can do this one and then raise these things and another exercise is this one okay you need to do this one so this uh, again the five five repetitions for uh, this exercise and the next thing will be very careful about your eyes supposedly you are not able to close your eyes properly then as advised by the doctor so, so you should use some eye drops as, as artificial tear drops this is to make your eyes more lubricating uh, otherwise you can have a dry eye and which can give rise to some ulcer so you need to be careful about that one and more importantly where you are when you are sleeping uh, if your family member saying that when you are sleeping your eyes is not closed properly it's very important that you use some some you know tie to close your eyes which you can use from here to here to make it close like this way during your sleeping time because otherwise if it's keep open uh, that can give rise to dryness and that can give rise to you know ulcer we need to be very careful about that one the question comes how frequently we should do these exercises and uh, how it's going to help you you see uh, uh, usually we advise to do this uh, exercise like five repetitions maybe which will all this exercise you can do you can complete in like uh, 15 20 minutes so the, give a break like one one hour or two hours so so more you do intensive exercise in the initial phase it is going to help you a lot and that's very very important and at the same time in addition to the in addition to you know your your medicine which is being prescribed you should take some uh, you, you should always take citrus uh, uh, you know, fluid or fruits like lemon oranges you can take because this is having uh, vitamin c which uh, really helps in uh, you know reducing reducing the edema of the facial nerves and also your improvement thank you very much